I'm David Carradine. I'm a senior structural engineer here at Brands, and we've been doing some uh, testing on the bracing performance of structural insulated panels, or SIPs. Um, the uh, panels themselves are used as wall, roof, and floor elements in uh, a range of different construction types. Um, SIPs essentially con uh, are, consist of a rigid foam core with some sort of panels on the outsides. So we've been looking at the seismic resistance, how the SIPs and the SIP system uh, responds to in-plane loads. Bracing for earthquakes essentially keeps the buildings from falling down, and it's really based on uh, the strength, the stiffness, uh, and the ductility of the system that is used for the walls. SIPs are being used more and more around the world. Um, they're certainly getting a foothold in New Zealand as well, and so uh, they have a high degree of prefabrication and can be a, a lot of work can be done off-site. They're also very high have very high insulation um, capability. And what we're trying to find out is how SIP systems perform uh, as part of our sort of typical New Zealand residential construction. From the test that we did today, we found that uh, there was a significant amount of energy dissipation that occurred and also minimal damage. And really the, um, the ductility in the system, the ability to, to deform without actually failing uh, was very good for these systems, and um, the dissipation of energy was really focused in the nailed connections, which is, uh, from an engineering point of view, a very good story. That's what we want. So um, the results are looking quite good, and uh, we look forward to testing some additional configurations uh, using hold downs and different, um, different systems that can be incorporated with the, the SIPs construction methods.